in the sum length is 19 height is 50 plus 20 and width is 60 so in this first we will draw front view now if you see the sum c length is 19 height is 50 plus from your radius 20 so it will be 70 if you see this side is 38 and this is 20 so what we will do first we will draw a circle and then we will draw a slope and for this slope that we will 50 so that means from center we have to take 25 25 and then we have to draw this slope see this entire slope is one unit so first we will draw circle you go up by 50 and you draw a circle Then they are given one more circle of radius 8 that we can draw from here. After that, see the main diagram. They are given 20 plus 38. So total will be 58. So from here you go up by 20. And then 38 and you draw a horizontal line then from the center you take how much 25 25 both the sides from center you take 25 25 both the sides this line will come somewhere here Then they have given 20 up, so you go up by 20 and you draw. After that, if you see the main diagram, they have given this part also. If you see this part, they have given how much? 45 and 36. The height would be how much? 9. So, what you have to do? You go up by 9 from here, draw horizontal line. Wherever it will cut, from there you go up by 36. Then you draw horizontal line. Same on the other side. Is done. Now there are two dotted lines which we need to draw. So when you see the main diagram, when you see from here, you can't see this part. The same part will be here also. So what we will do, we will extend from here and extend from here. And that given distance between them is, if you see the main diagram, they are given 16. So what we will do, we will leave from center, we will leave 8, 8 on both the sides. After that, we will draw top view. We we'll project circle from here. In top view, if you see the main diagram, that given this 44. So what we have to do? This circle will be only 44. The total width is how much? 60. So this is 44. So we have to leave from center. We have to take 22, 22 on both the sides. So what rectangle we will get? This rectangle is for this circle. Now if you see this circle, it's not plain circle. If you see the main diagram, they have removed certain portion here as well as there. So what we need to do? 
when you project down, you go down by 10. You go down by 10. Same way from here also go up by 10. 10. And you have to go inside. You can project 16 from the top. So if you see the main diagram in top view, when you see from the top, you will see this as a I shape. The same thing we are getting it over here. See this. Now after this, if you see in main diagram we have slope. If you notice, we have this slope and then we have this slope also that's reverse T so what we will do we will project from front and we'll extend from here so we will get this part After that, we will extend this. And we will extend from here. Now if you see the main diagram, see this slope. Still here and then it is coming out. So this point is important. So what we are doing in front view, we are projecting from there. Here is this part. So we got this on both the sides. After this, if you see the main diagram, this part. And if you see, the width of that part is 16. Now, you will see the main diagram. In this main diagram, this part is full, which you can see from the top view, as well as this circle is through and through. So we need to draw a dotted line for that also. So what we will do, we will draw a dotted line for circle. As well as we will dark this portion. Now, when you see from the top, there is one more part which you can't see in top view. When you see from top, you can't see this part, which is below this circular object. So, what we need to do? We need to draw a dotted for that also. Now we will draw side view. So when you see from the side, you will see this portion, this 
slope as well as this rectangle plus this regular object. So what we will do? First we will draw slope. For that we will take projections from front view as well as from top view. Now this much would be dark. After this, we can draw. See if you see the main object, that means this portion. This portion is height is 36. That we can project from front view. And with this 16. That we can project from top view. So we got this part. After this, for the circular object, if you see the main diagram, it is 44. So what we need to do from center, we need to take 22, 22 or project from top view. And you can project from front view as well. After this, when you see from the side, see this object, it's going up. And this portion. So this height is not mentioned. So what we need to do? We need to project from front view where it is intersecting from there with project so we'll get this also and we have circle so this circle diameter is how much 16 so we'll take 8 up 8 down from the center and we will draw dotted line 